The Type 004 may not be just another carrier. It's the vessel that could turn China's fleet into a global navy. China has begun construction of its fourth aircraft carrier, the nuclear-powered Type 004, a warship that analysts say could mark a turning point in the balance of naval power in the Indo-Pacific. The Type 004 may not be just another carrier. It's the vessel that could turn China's fleet into a global navy. It will carry over 90 aircraft and use an electromagnetic catapult for rapid launches. The carrier aims to match the U.S. Ford class and alter the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. Construction is underway at Dalian Shipyard. The vessel will be powered by nuclear reactors and is intended to directly rival the U.S. Navy's Ford class carriers. The ship is expected to significantly shift the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region, strengthening China's naval capabilities. With nuclear-powered endurance, the PLA Navy will be able to sustain carrier strike groups in the Indian Ocean, the Pacific, and even far-flung regions where China's interests are growing. The Type 004 is designed as a supercarrier, weighing between 110,000 and 120,000 tons. Satellite imagery confirms that its hull and catapult launch system are already under construction at the Dalian shipyard. The carrier is expected to measure 330 to 340 meters in length, slightly longer than its Type 003 Fujian carrier. One of the carrier's important innovations is its electromagnetic catapult system, which allows aircraft to take off rapidly and efficiently. The flat deck is designed for catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery catobar operations, enabling a higher number of aircraft to be launched compared with conventional ski jump systems. The Type 004 is expected to carry over 90 aircraft, including 24 to 30 J-15T heavy strike fighters, more than 20 J-35 stealth jets, the KJ-600 airborne early warning platform and various drones. By comparison, the U.S. Ford class can carry around 75 aircraft, including F-35C stealth fighters, E-2D Hawkeye surveillance aircraft and EA-18G growlers. The increased air power on Type 004 is aimed at generating a high-tempo sortie rate and enhancing strike capabilities. China's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Type 004, will use two pressurized water reactors capable of generating 450 to 500 megawatts. This provides the ship with virtually unlimited range, eliminating the need for frequent refueling. The reactors will power the catapult system, radar and potential future high-energy weapons. For comparison, the Ford-class carriers feature two A1B reactors generating over 700 megawatts. The Ford-class enjoys advantages in advanced arresting gear, automated weapons elevators, and decades of institutional experience in high-tempo carrier operations. However, the Type 004 may carry a larger number of aircraft, giving it an edge in numerical strength. The real test will be whether the PLA Navy can master the complexities of sustained carrier operations, logistics, and joint integration at sea areas where the U.S. still holds a decisive lead. Previous Chinese carriers include the Liaoning Type 001, a refitted Soviet Kuznetsov with ski jump launch, the Shandong Type 002, China's first domestically built carrier with Stobar launch, and the Fujian Type 003, with an electromagnetic catapult but conventional propulsion. Type 004 represents a significant leap in scale, nuclear power and operational capabilities, aiming to mirror Western supercarrier design in deck space, hangars, and logistics. Both Type 004 and Ford-class carriers weigh over 100,000 tons, employ electromagnetic aircraft launch system MLS catapults and feature nuclear propulsion. The Ford-class can achieve 160 daily sorties, and Type 004 is expected to target similar operational capabilities. Strategically, the Type 004 will challenge the long-standing U.S. dominance in aircraft carrier operations. The carrier enhances China's fleet air defense, sea control, and power projection, making it a formidable tool in peer-level naval confrontations. Analysts suggest the vessel marks China's transition toward a true blue-water navy and signals a new era of competition in the Indo-Pacific. 
The Type 004 represents a historic leap for the People's Liberation Army Navy, combining nuclear propulsion, electromagnetic catapults, and a larger, more diverse air wing. It is China's first true blue water supercarrier. Satellite images of the Dalian shipyard, published by an open source intelligence researcher, reveal that hull sections and launch infrastructure are already under assembly, signaling that Beijing has formally embarked on its most ambitious carrier project yet. This would represent the largest air wing in Asia, surpassing even the Ford class in sheer numbers, though questions remain about operational efficiency and deck management. In length, the ship is projected to measure around 330 to 340 meters, slightly longer than the Fujian Type 003 and comparable to the Ford class. Its nuclear propulsion system, reportedly based on China's long-way pressurized water reactor series, is designed to power not only the ship's propulsion but also its catapults, radar arrays, and potentially future high-energy weapons. The Type 004 will anchor carrier strike groups centered around the PLA Navy's most advanced escorts, Type 055 destroyers, Type 054B frigates, and nuclear-powered Type 095 attack submarines. This composition mirrors U.S. Navy carrier strike groups and signals China's intent to deploy integrated blue water task forces capable of operating across oceans. The carrier itself will feature expanded command and control capabilities and advanced air defense systems. Some Chinese sources claim its integrated systems may even surpass the U.S. Navy's Aegis combat system in certain respects. The Fujian Type 003, launched in 2022, introduced electromagnetic catapults and a flat flight deck, bringing China closer to Western standards. But it remained conventionally powered, restricting endurance. The Type 004 changes that equation entirely, combining all the features of modern supercarriers with nuclear propulsion. The U.S. Navy's Ford-class carriers displace around 100,000 tons, carry roughly 75 aircraft, and are powered by two A1B reactors producing more than 700 megawatts of power. The Type 004 is expected to produce 450 to 500 megawatts via twin reactors, somewhat less powerful but sufficient to sustain its systems and air operations, it will carry over 90 aircraft and use an electromagnetic catapult for rapid launches. Unlike China's previous carriers, the Type 004 will be powered by nuclear reactors, granting it virtually unlimited range and the ability to sustain global deployments without the need for refueling. The construction of the Type 004 represents more than just naval modernization. For Washington, this development underscores the emergence of a true near-peer competitor at sea.